So we did another project today, and um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a couple weeks. My husband um, and I had gone and gotten these cool water totes. We have several of them, and I wanted to put one in over here in another garden. We're going to use it as an overflow for our pool. Um, we, it's been raining. It's going to rain again tonight in Oklahoma. I'm telling you, we have had more rain this year than I think we've had in the past five years. But it's going to rain again tonight, and this way, no, no, we normally siphon the water out down the pasture. This time, we're going to be able to siphon it directly into, turn the pump on, put it directly into this tote, and then use it to water our garden so we're not wasting anything. So I'm happy about that. I want to show you, it is actually really a pretty cool thing. We made a water tower. We used these old um, telephone posts that we had left over from another project. And we put them on the ground and um, built a little platform for the tote to sit up on. And then we made sure that it was not going to be able to come down in one of our high winds or whatever. Hey everybody, I am the stand-in for my wife today. She's behind the camera. I know I'm not near as fun to look at, but we're going to explain what we did here. Okay, so this is our natural pool. <laughs> in the recent rains it has kind of gotten full and anybody with a pool knows that when it starts getting full you have to drain it uh, prior to what we just did I had to come out here and put a water hose in it go out into the pasture and siphon it out and it would slowly drain so instead of just wasting this nice fish fertilized water come down here I've got this is our original pump line that I cut out and I took pictures of that and she'll post it with it but we cut this out. I put a Y here with a water valve. It also has a little ball valve down here to close the water off from the main line so our pump can push it directly into the water hose. Now from the water hose, we go along here. Got a little spot to hang the hose there in her garden. and it comes up to our water tote. So instead of just wasting our water out into the pasture, we now have it pumping directly in here. The hose connects to this PVC, PVC goes to the top and pushes it straight in here. It's running now and there's already a few inches of water in it. And this thing holds, I think, 350 gallons, 300 gallons, something like that. Yeah, I can't see it. Anyway, so it holds a lot of water. And this water, since we have fish in there, it is, what's the word for it? Fish fertilized water you use to water your pond? Oh, emulsion, that's not it. No. No? No. What? When you have like a koi pond and you use that water to water something, there's a word for it. Aquaponics? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that word there. Uh, anyway, so this water is fertilized with the fish and everything, so now she has a spigot right there that she can hook her water hose to and water her garden. Also, if, if for some reason it hasn't rained in a while and we don't need to put pool water in here, we can fill it up with hose water and the sun will actually bake out all of the chlorine and nasty crap that the uh, water plant puts in it. So, because we're not, we, don't, we can't get well water out here. So, we have to be on city water. So, that's another alternative to just using city water and it will, uh, way healthier for the plants so they should grow way better so that's that project and we'll see you next time on our next project which we'll be starting very soon